Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about two topics. Number one, iOS 13 developer beta 7. We've seen iOS 13 developer beta 6 be released a week ago from today, August the 7th. Today is exactly one week. We haven't seen Apple release this beta as of yet. I want to share with you guys what this could mean, why Apple could be doing this, and when we can expect the next major update for iOS 13 beta 7, as well as my predictions on when we can expect iOS 13 to be released to everyone worldwide. Now, I also want to talk about the upcoming iPhone 11 over the past several days. We've seen many rumors and leaks, and today we saw some interesting ones as well, and I wanted to share and update you guys on the latest information for the iPhone 11. So first, let's dive into iOS 13 developer beta 7. Now, as I mentioned, it's been exactly one week from today since we saw iOS 13 developer beta 6, and from beta 5 to beta 6, it was a week in between. So usually when Apple does this, it means we'll see a new beta beta every week, but it looks like Apple has changed everything around. This year has been a little unpredictable. Apple has had a weird uh, shift in release of the betas uh, for different reasons. Now, in my personal experience, I believe Apple could be holding back this week from releasing a beta because they may be baking in all the features properly. We've seen the audio share feature be enabled, but not properly as we've seen Apple demonstrate with their keynote at WWDC. We also see that the font feature built into iOS 13 is not fully functional as of yet. This is beta 7. Things are getting really, really close to the official and final release. Now, Apple could be preparing iOS 13 developer beta 7 to really bring everything together and start polishing up the software exactly as it is intended to be before its official release. Now, we could still see iOS 13 developer beta 7 release sometime this week, maybe Thursday or Friday, but Apple has yet to deliver the software. If we don't see this beta before the end of the week on the 16th, we'll definitely see iOS 13 developer beta 7 next next week without a doubt. Now, when can we expect iOS 13 to be released to everyone worldwide? My personal predictions is that we'll see iOS 13 release anywhere from September 16th to September the 20th. That is to everyone worldwide. So Apple has exactly a month and a half to prepare iOS 13 to be stable enough, all the features baked in and everything working properly, the fonts, the audio sharing, all the new features that are yet to be activated, and of course, fix all the bugs and crashes within the software that still occur. We could see as many as 10 betas before we see iOS 13 officially released to the public. Now I wanted to shift my attention over to the upcoming iPhone 11, which is Apple's set to be releasing sometime towards the end of September. Now we see a sketchy rumor today coming from a Chinese forum that indicate an ex Foxconn employee who had access to the iPhone 11 has shared some details of the upcoming iPhone, starting with the battery size of the Max model. So last year, the iPhone uh, XS Max battery was 3174 milliamps, and according to this source, the new battery would be the largest ever on any iPhone, coming in at 3969. This could increase the battery life on the iPhone to up to 90 minutes. That is on the Max 11 Max model expected later towards the end of September this year. Now, according to this source, Apple could be offering four different color variants for the new iPhone 11, the traditional black, the white, the gold, and a new dark green. Now, this source also indicates that the colors will be a matte texture, less a light reflecting. So he says that the black and green look the best so far. Apple will most likely be getting rid of the iPhone branding logo beneath the Apple logo for a cleaner look as well. 3D Touch is definitely canceled. No more 3D Touch. This makes a lot of sense. iOS 13 just added long press, and you can 3D Touch pretty much on any iPhone, so pressure-sensitive display becomes obsolete and the face ID sensor apparently will remain the same as well. Now the naming for the new iPhones are also rumored to be different. It appears that Apple will be naming these iPhones the iPhone 11, the new iPhone for the iPhone 11R, and the iPhone Pro for the iPhone Max, the bigger size. So again, from smallest to biggest iPhone 11, iPhone and iPhone Pro. Those are the latest rumors. Let me know what you think about the naming, about the new technology. Are you excited about the new colors and everything else we talked about in this video? Leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.